today's video is divided into three sections unlinking OneDrive disabling OneDrive and uninstalling OneDrive OneDrive is a cloud storage facilitated by Microsoft that is now integrated directly into Windows operating system both Windows 10 and Windows 11 have built-in applications and support for OneDrive. Now let us get started with unlinking OneDrive. Now to unlink your OneDrive account means that you stop the synchronization on your current computer. For instance, you may have more than one computer connected to OneDrive, the same account for OneDrive. But the particular computer maybe you are using, if you choose to stop synchronization, then you are unlinking that computer from the OneDrive account. Now to unlink, we shall go to the taskbar. Look for the OneDrive icon on the taskbar. If you cannot see the, the OneDrive icon like this, you can click this short access. Then look for within these icons. You will see an icon for OneDrive. Now click that. We are going to get out, we are going to get a fly out. Now click the gear settings icon, this one. When you click the gear settings icon in the top right corner, we shall have another menu. Head on and click settings. Then, uh, we get the settings for one drive. Now on your left, click account. Then head on and click unlink this PC unlink this PC. Then they are saying that your OneDrive files will stop syncing. Locally available files will remain on this device while online files will be removed. So unlink account. So I'm going to head on and click unlink account. When you click unlink account, your OneDrive account will now be unlinked. And the OneDrive app will show up the setup page again that is how we unlink the one drive from a particular computer after unlinking the other step you have to follow is to prevent one drive application from automatically opening up on startup because it was programmed to already start up so the moment it starts up and you may be signing in into your account it is going to synchronize again with your one drive so to stop it from startup, what do we do? We are going to go to the task manager. Control, you are going to press control, shift plus escape. Control, shift plus escape. Then switch to startup tabs. Click here on this menu. Then go to start up, apps. Then head on and look for one drive okay this is one drive then come here at the one drive you can see it is enabled so our option is to make sure that we disable one drive so right click and click disable now when you disable that one drive is going to stop automatically starting up when the computer starts. So if in case you need to re-enable OneDrive, you still have to come back to the task manager, OneDrive, right click OneDrive and say enable. That is it for unlinking OneDrive. If you don't want to unlink OneDrive, head on to step number two for disabling OneDrive from your computer. Now to disable OneDrive from the group policy. When we say disable OneDrive, we mean temporarily disabling it so it can be re-enabled at a later time. On Windows 11, there is only one way to disable OneDrive, and that is through the group policies or the group policy. So follow these steps to disable your OneDrive on Windows 11. So click Windows plus R. We are going to get that command. Then type gpedit. 
or group policy edit dot msc then ok now we're going to get the group policies now expand the administrative can you see this one expand the administrative templates expand the administrative templates then under computer configurations okay we are going to look for the windows components under the administrative templates we want to look for the windows components and then click then then head to this side and look for one drive head this side and look for one drive see this there's one drive okay that is one drive then double click it then uh we have the options which if i expand this let me expand this uh we are going to look for prevent the usage of one drive for file storage see this option prevent the usage of one drive for file storage okay and then select that option uh, you can see we have not configured enabled and disabled so what you want to do is you're going to click enabled when you click enabled go and click apply then head on and click OK. Then you can now close that. Or let me minimize that. Then con press the Windows plus R again. The Windows key plus R. Then this type, type in CMD. So we're going to have that one. Type. G. T U P D A T okay G P update space slash force and hit enter. Now they're updating the group policies. Now the same group policy updated has completed successfully. This is going to disable one drive for good unless you manually revert the changes and re-enable one drive now to re-enable one drive you have to go back to a one drive for file storage okay to in order to re-enable one drive you have to go back to our group policies the process the policies we went to this one okay then you have to click again prevent usage for one drive then you come and either choose disabled or you choose not configured if you choose not configured or disabled that means that you're going to enable your one drive again then the next head into the next step if you want to uninstall one drive from your computer in case you have no use for one drive if you do not want to use OneDrive at all, you can opt to uninstall it. So there are two ways to uninstall OneDrive. We can use the command prompt or we can uninstall OneDrive from the settings. So we're going to look at the easier way for uninstalling OneDrive from the settings. So you're going to head on to your settings. Settings like that. Then click apps. This one. then click on installed apps they're going to show for you they're going to show you a list of installed applications look for one drive look for one drive this is one drive then click on the three dots they will show you a, a menu with different options. Head on to uninstall. Then click uninstall again. 
the, the computer is going to show you uninstall complete. That is how you uninstall OneDrive completely from your computer. Thank you for watching our presentation today. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification button for more. If you have any questions, you can put them in a question in a section for comments. I'll get back to you.